I'm about to show you the easiest method to create cinematic ads completely using AI. And when I say easy, I mean literally one sentence prompt. You don't need to know how to write fancy prompts. There's no bouncing around between 10 different tools. And the entire process is only gonna take you minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you my exact process for how I generate the images and videos needed to create these highly cinematic and polished ads that you can use on social media. These are videos that literally would have taken thousands and thousands of dollars to film and produce. And now we're able to do this with as little as $10. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is head over to arcads.ai. Arcads just launched their v2 of their product and let me tell you it is absolutely insane what you're able to create once you're inside of arcads on the left side here you're able to create new projects i have one for arcads specifically and then i've made a new folder for cinematic ads the first step in this process in creating a cinematic ad is creating a cinematic reference image of the product or setting that you want the video to look like so to do that you'll select this image section right here You'll notice that there's different models you can select. There's Nano Banana Pro, GPT Image 1.5, which was just released this week, and Sea Dream 4.5. I tend to have better results with Nano Banana Pro, so we'll go ahead and select that. Next, we're gonna select a reference image of the product that we want to create the cinematic scene for. So we'll click this button in the bottom left. I have this like random picture of a Topo Chico bottle um, that I had in my office that I took a picture of, like literally, this is the bottle on my desk. Snapped a picture mm -hmm. with my phone. We're gonna use this for the starting frame for the Nano Banana. So all I gotta do is select this, hit open. And then the prompt we're gonna use is create a cinematic scene for this bottle of Topo Chico sparkling mineral water. And then that's all you have to do. The, my favorite thing about Arcads is they have the ability for you to increase how many images that you're gonna create. So I'm gonna boost this thing all the way up to 10. Um, one thing that's super cool here as well is right now, I don't know how long they'll keep this promotion going, but you get 100 free image generations a day in your account, which is pretty crazy. So I can create 10 versions of this image and it's not gonna cost me anything. So go ahead and click submit and then We'll see our images getting generated. While we're waiting for some of those images to download, I wanna quickly highlight that I have a private community on school where I show people how to make AI ads and level up their advertising with AI processes. It's called the AI Ad Alchemist and we have over 300 members strong where I show you how to make AI UGC ads, generating ads with bulk using Nano Banana. I also show you how you can understand making ads using the new Andromeda updates from Meta. I've also included in here my entire Meta Mastermind course, which is something that I was selling for $1,200 as a standalone course. Now it's wrapped into school. This course is full of 10 hours of content from my entire career, learning and managing massive amounts of ads at scale on Meta. So if you're interested in joining this thriving community on school, check out the link in the description below. Okay, so now we've got 10 images here of Topo Chico in different settings that look pretty cinematic. So we can open a couple of these, scroll through them. This one looks pretty cool. It's like a nice desert vibe. We've got like a desert like bar vibe. Um, a lot of the stuff's in the desert, some bar tops, some restaurants. It's kind of got that like Southwest Canyon vibe. These are all really cool. So now I'm gonna choose which one of these I want to basically use as my reference for the video that we're gonna create. I think I like this image of the Topo Chico. So what we're gonna do is download it and then we're gonna switch our model to video and go to Sora 2 Pro, nine by 16 ratio. You can also do 16 by nine. I'm gonna go all the way to 12 seconds here. You can do a shorter second video, um, like a shorter four second video. It'll be a little bit less credits, but um, I want a longer video. So we're gonna go 12 seconds and up to 1080p. And then here we are going to add our reference image of the cinematic Topo Chico that we included from our previous Nano Banana. And here's where this gets crazy because the prompt we're gonna use for this is one sentence long. You don't have to be a master prompt engineer to use this stuff with Sora 2 Pro. You literally get like perfect AI videos with very simple prompts and I'll show you right now. So the prompt here that we're gonna put in is create a fast paced cinematic video for Topo Chico sparkling water. 
Literally, that's it. Here again, you can decide like how many variations of the video you want to create. So often with AI, and we'll get to this later in the video, but there's going to be maybe some imperfections. Maybe you didn't like, you know, the version that it created for you. So being able to create like 10 at a time can like literally 10x how fast you're able to get a final product using this method. I was doing like five because I felt like that was enough. And so let's go ahead and hit generate. Okay, these videos took a few minutes to generate and let's take a look at how some of them look. Snap it open. Let the bubbles rush. Crisp, bold, endlessly refreshing. Topo Chico, sparkling mineral water for the bold in every bubble. Okay, that I thought was actually really good. Like some of the text at the end is kind of weird, but like that might be something that, you know, you can change in post or, or switch to an actual like end frame that you use for all your videos or whatever. But like the people drinking the bottles, I thought that actually looked really, really good. Like this looks like a polished ad. It's got background audio, it's got sound effects, it's got the voiceover, it's got text overlay, like you could use this as a final ad. Let's do this exact same process with a couple other of my favorite products and just see what we come up with. So I'm a big fan of Yeti. So I went ahead and grabbed a picture of a white Yeti, literally just from their product page, and then use the exact same prompt from Nano Banana create a cinematic scene for this product. So we've got it on the river with a fly fishing reel. We've got it on the beach, got it in the mountains. Like all of these scenes are pretty dope and they look really, really good. So then I went ahead and I think I used this mountain one because I live in the Pacific Northwest. I'm a big mountain guy. I love the mountains and let's see what it came up with. And again, this is the prompt create a fast paced cinematic ad for Yeti coolers. This is more than a cooler. It's a lifeline in whitewater, a seat on the riverbank, a launch pad for the mountaintop, the tailgate hero, the campfire hub, the fish story maker, built to take the beating and keep it cold, no matter where the- That was pretty dope. Again, like some little things here and there, but like, that was like, you didn't have to do anything. It's got the voiceover. It's got the fast paced music. It's got the B roll. It's got the text overlay. Like it's got it all. You don't even have to write the script. It literally goes and like finds information about the product, generates the script, generates the audio, generates the music, generates the text overlay, all the cutscenes, the whole storyboard. It does it all behind the scenes and like, you don't have to do anything. Let's go to the next product. So this next one, I did my Fujifilm camera. So like literally this camera that I'm shooting this video with, it's a Fujifilm H2S. And I wanted to see like what the AI could come up with. Now it generated some images here. I think I went with this one because it's got a nice like cinematic outdoor feel. So let's take a look at some of the videos. Meet the Fujifilm H2S, 40 frames per second, blackout free. 6.2K at 120p, 10-bit internal recording. Seven stop in body stabilization. That one's pretty dope. There's a couple little AI things, but overall pretty good. Now let's go with the next one, the plunge, cold plunge. Create a cinematic scene for plunge, cold plunge tub. Got a couple different scenes here. The first batch of videos I tried to create with Sora 2 had, I think, this person in it. So we got an error, basically, OpenAI, they're really strict with their content policy and they don't allow the reference image to include a real person or what they perceive a real to be a real person, even though this is an AI person. So here's another super cool use case for ARC ads and using Nano Banana. We can take the image that we liked the best and just prompt it like to get that person out of there. So all you have to do is click on this image, assuming like this is the image I wanted to use. We can hit remix right here. And then basically all we have to say is no person, like remove the person and then hit submit. And boom, there we have that exact image with the person removed. And now we can use this as our starting reference for the Sora 2. So let's take a look at some of these. Meet the plunge, your daily reset built for the bowl. Precision, chilled water, digital control, ready when you are. Drop in, breathe deep, feel alive, <laughs> take the plunge. Some of those people looked way too happy to be in a cold plunge. <laughs> so as I went through this process, I started to think through, okay, like what about these some of these ads where maybe the voiceover isn't quite right or the background audio is kind of weird or like the text overlays aren't quite right. What if you want to have a little bit more control over some of this stuff. Um, with Sora 2 Pro, I found that it kind of takes a lot more creative liberties, which like for this scenario where you want a very simple prompt, that works extremely well because it's, you're basically saying like, hey, I want a final product, go figure it out for me. But I 
thought of a way to basically leverage this to get like 10 steps ahead of where you would be if you were doing this manually in that you can basically use this to generate all of the B-roll sound effects and you know maybe a voiceover or music background if you want that added but for the plunge basically what i did i wanted to create another round of videos for this product but instead here's the prompt that i used create a super cinematic video using slow motion and emotion for the plunge cold plunge tub no voice or text overlay and no music and i'll get to why this is important but check out how this turned out So here, essentially, we have a blank canvas video that we can strip out of here along with all the other variations of this video and put it together to create something really compelling that we have full control over. Now I'm gonna show you a more advanced way of creating a final product that is exactly the way you want it and you have full control over the music, the voiceover, the pacing, the shots you're using, but it's still completely 100% AI generated. Check this out. Now we're over in CapCut where I've already created the final version of this plunge, cold plunge ad. But I wanna show you a little bit about how I got here before I show you the final product. So you can see there's a lot of layers here. Um, basically the first thing I did was pull in one of those videos from Arc Ads and I, I separated the audio track first. So here we've got this cinematic ads backtrack, which is essentially just like birds chirping, uh, sounds of people getting into the tub, all of like the background audio from the original video. And then what I did is I went over to ChatGPT. I have a custom GPT I just put together super quick. It's a cinematic 12 second ad script. But basically all you have to do is put in the um, URL for the product you're advertising. So I put in my, my cold plunge URL, who you're advertising for and what you want, basically the emotion. So I said, it's wealthy people looking to hack their nervous system, reduce stress and people who want, like I want people to feel like Zen and like this is the product that will unlock a next level of, re of relaxation and, and stress tolerance. So then it put together this super short script that made to be like fit within that 12 seconds. And I went over to 11 Labs. So if you're not familiar with 11 Labs, this is a tool that allows you to create AI voiceovers and you can have like a ton of control. And what I did here is on the right, you can select the voice you want to use. And they've got this like library of, and I mean, endless amounts of voices, but I just searched for calm. And then they've got a bunch of voices that kind of like fit the meditation, cold, chill, like super vibey voice. Found one that I liked, pasted in the script here and then hit generate. What's super cool about this is I could generate the same script onto like 10 different voices and I could just swap out the voiceover over the video that I'm creating. And then I could have like 10 different variations of this video. Next, as you can see in this timeline, like there's a ton of like different clips that are cut and like put into position. Essentially what I did is I went back to Arc Ads and I downloaded all of these videos that I generated um, specifically for the purpose of not of having to use for B-roll. So I, they don't have a voiceover and they don't have background audio, but they have audio of the environment and they have like lots of variations of people like getting into the cold plunge and all this stuff. So I'm not going to go through and show you each individual clip because that would take way too long, but I'm show you the final product of what this ad actually ended up looking like. Oh yeah, before I forget, last thing I added to this because I wanted again to control the vibe was over here within CapCut, they have an audio section. So you can search for like meditation and basically you can find like an audio that fits the vibe. So I just found this one, it's called Sacred Stillness and I added that as the background audio. So without further ado, let me show you how this final ad turned out. This is 100% AI generated, all from Arc Ads, 11 Labs and just CapCut. Took me probably 10 minutes to just throw all this together after getting all the assets from Arc Ads. So check this out. In a world that never slows down, step into stillness. Cold becomes calm, breath becomes balance. This is Plunge, where stress fades and your nervous system finds peace. Pretty sick. For context, this ad, if you were gonna go through like a traditional like video agency, you'd have to rent a location, you'd have to hire the actors, you'd have to pay for a crew, the lighting, the camera, 
the editors. It would take probably a month to get it done. And I literally, one sentence prompted this video together using ARCADs, stitched the best parts of it together, still had full control. I could throw text overlays on this. I could take it to the next level. But this whole video, like stitching this together, took me literally like 20 minutes. I think that's pretty crazy. So to recap on what we discovered using ARCADs AI for generating cinematic video. The first step was creating a reference image using Nano Banana Pro, taking your product and putting it into the scene that you want your end video to look and feel like. The next step was going to Sora 2 Pro, again within arcads.ai, and creating a simple prompt, asking it to create a fast paced cinematic video for your ad. And then the more advanced method is prompting Sora 2 to basically create cinematic footage of people using your product while removing the voices, the no text overlay, and no music. Those are all things that you can add in very easily in CapCut in post-production to get way more use out of these AI assets. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. How much does this cost in comparison to, you know, going a traditional video agency or something like that? Each one of these videos takes about $10 to create or one credit within ARCADS. You saw earlier that I was creating about five videos at a time. And to create the final version of that plunge video that we saw, I generated probably about 10 videos. So that would be about $100 that I spent in credits to get that final product. Again, if we were going to compare that to an actual video agency and like renting an Airbnb for a location film, paying the crew and all this stuff, like it would be probably thousands and thousands of dollars. Not to mention the time it would take to create the asset, the arguing back and forth between your team internally because you wanna get it perfect the first time. I think that's the most beautiful thing about AI is now all of a sudden you are able to have way more creativity and it doesn't matter if you get it perfect the first time because that video cost $100 to make instead of thousands. You can very quickly iterate on ideas, on locations, on different types of people using your products. And then if you really want to, you can take a proven concept that you generated with AI and then go and hire the expensive agency to film it for real. I'm seeing media buyers doing this already using AI where they're leveraging the technology to test out new scripts, test out locations, test out different types of people. And once they find a, a winner with the AI creative, then they can go and pay for a real person to recreate it. That's all I got for this video. If you got anything out of this at all, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm a full-time content creator, so every subscriber helps me out. If you wanna try ARC ads, the link to sign up is in the description below. Full transparency, it's an affiliate link. I get a kickback if you sign up through that link. Also, super helps me out. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.